Hi, welcome to this edition of Digital Discoveries. And today, we're going to be looking at this weird contraption. Um, this is something that might be a solution to uh, a problem that our classes uh, might be experiencing, especially if they have a lot of iPads in the classroom. And uh, we're going to be looking at the Dewey Document Camera Stand for iPad. That's what this is about. So this is probably more for uh, teachers in our uh, in our viewing audience, but uh, anybody can can watch it, of course. Uh, what is this thing? How does it work? We're going to watch it and put it all together and see if we can get it to, to work for us. Um, um, and uh, hopefully, uh, maybe you'll you'll see it as useful in your classroom. The Dewey Document Camera Stand is exactly what it says it is. It's a it's a stand that turns your iPad into a document camera. Now, in the past, last last season on uh, Digital Discoveries, we actually did a show on how to turn a ring stand into a document camera stand. That was like a really inexpensive solution. Uh, the point of that wasn't so much that you can use really cheap materials to, to get a document, stand, a document camera stand going, but the point of that was that you can use the iPad as a document camera. You don't have to have a completely different solution to have a document camera in your classroom. So if you've got an iPad, you've got a document camera. It's just a matter of having something to hold it while you're, uh, while you're uh, using it as a document camera stand. And so this is, what, uh, this is what the Dewey does. And so we're going to look at it, we're going to talk about it, see how it works, and uh, put it through its paces here. So let's go ahead and look at the document camera, the stand itself. So what you have when you purchase this uh, document camera stand is you have a, a pretty heavy duty um, weight on the bottom so it doesn't tip over. You really have to, you have to want to tip it over to, to make it tip over. And so we're thinking that this is usually going to be used by teachers, and so it's not going to be uh, that much of a problem. When it comes in the box, you have two tubes. You have this one here, uh, this black tube, and you have a silver tube. They have to be connected to the stand at the bottom. And then you have this part along the top. And this is all uh, essentially one piece, so you don't have to connect it together. So let's, uh, so you've got the, the weight at the bottom that holds it in place. You've got these two tubes that can be adjusted. This is the height adjustment. You can do it up, you can move it up. Just press in the little button. So it can go up pretty high. So you can do a whole lot of stuff underneath. And it can go pretty low too. You can like, ah, so. And then you've got this weird contraption at the top. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you something, uh, how it works by switching it this way. So you can see here, that I've got this clamp, and it's, it actually is a clamp. Um, the, the part up here actually moves up and down, so I'm going to move it up and down. And that's for opening it up so you can slide the iPad in. And it actually has right there a little, a little decal that looks like the home button on your iPad. And the reason you do that is because when you orient your iPad, I'm going to turn this one back on, when you orient your iPad, you want your iPad home button right there to match the home button there. So let's go ahead and put it in. And I'm doing it backwards here, so I hope I get everything right. So we're going to move it in. So you can see automatically that you've got kind of a cool little stand that you can actually use uh, when you're not using it as a document stand. You can actually use it as a, a reader or if you're playing some kind of videos, the students can actually use it as a video. But we're really interested in uh, using it as a document uh, a camera stand. So we're going to move it that way so you can see that the, the, uh, the head pivots in these two directions. So you can do landscape and you can do portrait. And so we're going to pop it back like this and that's just very simple. You just push it back like that. And it's one of those things, it's one of those really wild thing is that you can't really, you can't really um, break it unless you're really, really trying to. So you can't, you can't really break it. Now, for, for those that might have been confused about where the home button goes on here, the green side is always going to be where the home button goes. So we've got this green section here. If, you can, if the decal falls off ever or something like that, the green part is where the home button goes. So remember on an iPad, the camera, unlike on a document camera, the camera is not centered right in the middle. The camera is up here in the upper 
right hand corner. It's way up here. So if you put something here underneath it, it's not going to be exactly centered. So how do you fix that problem? Well, the, uh, the Dewey also comes with this uh, little, little template. It's called a positioning template. And it kind of looks just like a little piece of cardboard. And um, one would think, if you get it, if you're not paying attention, you turn it over it upside down, you might want to throw it out when you get it in. But you really don't want to throw it out. Because what you want to do is you want to use this to show where to position things underneath your, your, uh, your iPad document camera stand. So let's go ahead and put that down there like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the camera. I'm going to find the camera. And so when you originally turn it on, it looks something like this. And so you got, oh, here's my hand underneath. Now remember, my camera is up here in this corner. So it's not completely right underneath. And that's where this portrait, uh, this, uh, this uh, stand goes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, uh, <laughs> this uh, little handout from this guy named Carlos Prieto. He was one of our cellists that showed up and did, a, did something for our distance learning classes. He had this handout. This was the only thing we could find that actually had pictures. So we're going to use that. And so we're in portrait position. Now you can rotate it around. And that would make it in landscape position. But for our purposes here, we're going to put it in portrait. And so if you see down here at the bottom, it actually says portrait position. So I'm going to put Carlos right under here. And you can see that if I line him up pretty well, I've got a pretty good, I've got a pretty good view of that. I can also, of course, because it's an iPad, I can zoom in and out. I can zoom in pretty, pretty clearly I can on that, and then I can zoom out as well. And we're not going to worry so much about how to use the iPad as a document camera, because this is more about the Dewey itself. Now, just to show you how good this, uh, this can be, I'm going to open up Carlos's uh, handout here. And we're going to uh, position the paper so that we're looking at some uh, let's look at something here like this. And we, we're interested in this now. Now what I'm doing here is I'm using the program reflector to uh, go from my iPad up to my broadcast. Now you could do this exact same thing. You could have a the dongle that would hook up to your laptop. All we're doing here is we're projecting from our iPad to some kind of projection device. In this case, it's, a, it's the uh, LCD screens. But it can be your projector in your classroom. So. I'm going to look at that picture. I don't know who that is. That's uh, Isaac Stern and Yo-Yo Ma with this guy. And so I'm going to zoom in. I want to change it just a little bit. Because I want to show you the resolution here, how good you can, how far you can zoom in on these things. You can zoom in pretty well to see, uh, to see whoops, let me move it down just a little bit. There's uh, Isaac Stern, and there's uh, Yo-Yo Ma, and then here's Carlos. And so. We can zoom back out, of course, to see the whole thing. Now, of course, um, using a document camera in your classroom, there's thousands and thousands of things you can do with that. Now, one of the things that we can do, just remember, is that we can zoom out to see larger things. So I've got the Merriam-Webster dictionary here. And I'm going to use it in landscape mode. So I'm going to randomly open up the Merriam-Webster dictionary. And I'm going to switch this around to landscape mode. So now, of course, I could be doing almost anything here on my, uh, I could be doing a, if I'm in science class, I could be doing a demonstration of a frog dissection. I could be doing all different kinds of things. But if I start moving my camera up, I start moving this, you can see, of course, it makes sense that I actually can see more of whatever is underneath my, my, uh, my camera here. So I can zoom in, of course. I don't know what word I'm on there, but it's a, it's a good word, whatever the word is, I promise. <laughs> so I can zoom in. I can also zoom out. Now, in most classes, we're not using such small font in, uh, when we're trying to show something to our students underneath a document camera. So it's a very simple solution to a problem that uh, you might have in your classroom if you're looking for a, um, if you're looking for a way to uh, use 
your iPad as a document camera, but you don't have a holder yet, then this device, this Dewey uh, document camera, uh, is a, a document camera stand, might be the solution for your classroom. Uh, if you're interested in ordering it, just give Instructional Technology a call. We'll give you the, the ordering information, who to contact, how to write out that PO for that. So that's how you use the Dewey document camera stand to uh, turn your iPad into a document camera. Very simple thing to do, uh, and it's a solution that, uh, that I think we can use a lot in our classroom. So thank you for joining me for this episode of Digital Discoveries. We'll see you next time.